What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing chapter 21, problem 7 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 21 is all about electric charge, and in problem 7 we have a couple conducting spheres, and they are identical. We are given the force of attraction between them, the distance between them, and we are also given the force of attraction between them if a wire is introduced into the system, and then we are asked to find the initial charges on the spheres. So we know that the electrostatic force is equal to charge 1 times charge 2 over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. And we can solve for charge 1 times charge 2 and say charge 1 times charge 2 is equal to f times 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. What I did here is I multiplied both sides by this denominator and we are given all these values so we can plug those in. So 0 0.108 newtons times 4 pi epsilon sub 0 and our radius is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 in the problem we were given 50 centimeters but we need to remember we need to convert that to meters, so 50 centimeters to meters is 0 0.5 meters. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get ne about negative 3 times 10 to the negative 12 Coulomb squared. Now, obviously, if you look at the numbers here, none of them are negative, so this negative comes from the problem. So the problem initially tells us that the spheres attract each other, meaning one of them is positively charged and one is negatively charged. So if you multiply these two charges together, since it's a negative times a positive, the two charges multiplied will be negative. So now when our wire is introduced, um, the system will be able to equilibrate and both spheres will have identical charges. So we know that F, or the electrostatic force, will then be Q squared. Since both charges will be the same, when you multiply them together, it'll be, be Q squared. And that'll be over four pi epsilon sub zero R squared. And so we can solve for Q and say, Q is equal to the square root of f times 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. And again, we are given all those values, so we can plug those right in, and we get 0 0.036 times 0 0.036 newtons times 4 pi epsilon sub 0, and again, 0 0.5 meters is our radius. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get about 1 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And like I said, since these charges are identical, we can say Q1 plus Q2 is just the twice of this. So this will be 1 times 10 to the negative 6 plus 1 times 10 to the negative 6 and that will equal 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And so what we can do is we can rearrange this equation for Q2, and we can say Q2 is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 6 minus Q1. And now we can take this Q2 and plug it back in up here, and then we will get Q1 times 2 times 10 to the negative 6 minus q1 is equal to negative 3 times 10 to the negative 12. And now we can multiply out this q1 and say 2 times 10 to the negative 6 q1 minus q1 squared is equal to 
negative 3 times 10 to negative 12. And we can move everything to one side and say 0 is equal to q1 squared minus 2 times 10 to the negative 6 q1 minus 3 times 10 to the negative 12. And as you can see, we have a quadratic equation. So we are going to need the quadratic formula. And if you do not know that off the top of your head, the quadratic formula is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where a is the coefficient here, b is your coefficient here, or here in this case, and c is your coefficient here. So we can plug all of those in and say q1 is equal to the negative of this, which is a positive. So 2 times 10 to the negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 2 times 10 to the negative 6 squared minus 4. And our coefficient a is equal to 1. And c is negative 3 times 10 to the negative 12. And that's all over 2 times 1. And now if you plug that into your calculator, you should get that q1 is equal to negative 1 times 10 to the negative 6, or 3 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Now we are not told in the problem which charge is positive and which charge is negative. It just asks us to specify what the negative charge would be and what the positive charge would be. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.